What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at 10 of the most popular songs made by YouTubers in 2017. Now real quick before we begin, there's a ton of other songs that we could have included in this list so leave a like if you want to see a part 2. Also, let me know which one you think is your favorite down below in the comments. I want to see who you think won the YouTuber Music War of 2017, but with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 10. Logan Paul So I think it's safe to say that most of Logan Paul's most famous songs are actually diss tracks. But when he tries to make music that isn't cussing anybody out, it actually turns out pretty well. I mean, this No Handlebars parody might be a little, okay, a lot less family friendly than the original, but it's still pretty funny. Not just that, but the music video is super well done, and even the rap isn't awful. So it just kind of proves that his best songs don't always have to be about tearing down someone else's career. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. She in fifth gear, I'm a 10 speed. Not my fault, she texts me. Suede seat, my rims deep, my Schwinn beat that Bentley. She ride the peg, still in her heels. She fall in love, head over wheels. New chain, I don't mean necklace. I ride no hands, I'm reckless. Cycling on your chick, la da da da. I've been cycling on your chick, la da da da. She been gripping on my grip, la da da da. I've been cycling on your chick, yeah. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. I can ride your girl with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. Your tires are flat, your chain is loosey when. Number 9. Net Nobody. So, Net Nobody's LA Lights is actually pretty deep for a YouTube track, which is even more surprising when you realize it's his first ever single. It's actually doing pretty well too, hitting well over a million views in less than a month, and it's all down to how catchy the hooks are. To be fair, he's not completely new to music, because about half the videos on his channel at the moment are like diss tracks aimed at KSI. But uh, clearly that practice might have paid off though, because he's created a single that might push his music in a whole new direction. Number 8, DDG. So you've probably noticed by now that there are some YouTube music videos you could pretty much write a cheat sheet for, and this is kind of one of them. Like it kind of has everything, like shots of an expensive car, cute girls dancing in front of a big house, and a couple of shots of the dude dancing with a bottle of alcohol. With that said, even though the video is beyond cliche, most people seem to think the song's quite the banger. Number 7. Adam Sela So Adam Sela is another vlogger who's not exactly famous for music, but there's no denying that he's managed to make it work for him. I mean, this video literally opens with a shot of him and Fady standing by a line, and you can't get any more epic than that. It's actually a love song too, which is pretty rare when it comes to YouTube tracks, so I've really got to give him credit for that. But uh, yeah, it still has like the expensive car and hot chick shots, but they really get you with the baby tigers. I mean, damn, where could I buy a baby tiger? The things I do, trying to get hold of you. Now make a move, I'm impatient for you. So please don't keep me waiting. Tomorrow never comes Oh, this hesitated Took the air out of my lungs
the lake shift Still so far from greatness Still got time for good girls Still violate a fake chick Just got home from Lebanon My passport got so full I had to get another one Spent half my life on a runway PJs on a PJ Number 6 so I've gotta admit, for a song about agreeing to spend the night with a hot girl's less attractive friend, this song is actually pretty catchy. Like you might disagree with the subject matter, but there's no denying that Jack Maynard knows how to write a song, especially when his brother's there to help him. Plus it ends with the girls making fun of the boys right back, which is a pretty funny twist for a dumb rap song about how difficult dating can be. Oh cause I need you to jump on this grenade for me, yeah I need you to stay strong. Number 5, Jake Paul So with Jake releasing a remix of It's Every Day Bro with Gucci Mane, I mean come on, you know we had to put it on the list. So yeah, it might be a bit of a meme by now, but there's no denying how much of an impact it had on YouTube, and let's be honest, the fact that he had someone as big as Gucci Mane on his track is pretty freaking cool. But apparently he had to pay close to a quarter of a million dollars just to get him to do it. What do you guys think? Did Jake take the L by getting exposed for paying him, or do you think it's awesome that it still happened? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. Every day, bro, that Disney Channel flow. Every day I film my life, double the views of any show. Nickelodeon hit me up, and I said, hell no. And FedEx hit me up, they bout to ship my lamb, bro. And I'm 20. Lamborghini painted green. Who wow. walk back on the scene? You ain't hurt, man, I'm the king. You can call me Wiz up, or you can call me Gucci. Every day I hate, I hate him, man, because he losing. I rap like I'm producing, but don't know how to do it. They rapping about that pirate, rich, but don't know how to use it. In 1997, I would pull up in a Buick. Huh? Now every day I'm changing cars, it's kinda getting confusing. Dang. Every day my lady make me stand up like a poo stick. Whoa. And every day the paparazzi put me in a news clip. Huh? And every day I try not hit nobody with the full clip. From East Atlanta, not the shot, but I'm back on my bush. It's every day, bro. Hey. It's every day, bro. Hey. It's every day, bro. Hey. It's every day, bro. Wow. It's every day, bro. Go. 45 bands on that. Number 4, Keemstar. When it comes to Keemstar, people think a lot of different things, but YouTube Musician probably isn't one that shows up very often. Even so, he dropped a single Dollar in the Woods earlier this year, and well, it's exactly what it sounds like. I mean, it is literally a song about finding a dollar in the woods, and even though you can basically count the lyrics on your fingers, it's impossible to keep out of your head. I mean, personally, I think Keem did a pretty good job with it, especially for it being like one of his only songs ever. Who knows, maybe the DJ and DJ Keemstar might return for another. You ready? Walked in the woods. Yeah. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. Walked in the woods. Okay. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. Walked in the woods. Yeah. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. Walked in the woods. Okay. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. I got my Yeezys on. In the woods, nice. I got my Yeezys on. I'm feeling good. Oh. Click bait. Number three. So the top comment on this video is: Has every YouTuber turned into a rapper now? And I've got to admit, they've got a point. On the other hand, though, Joe Weller is one who could actually really rap. Like Queen in a Double is literally just about going to LA and partying hard. So it's not exactly deep, but it's so catchy that it's kind of hard to even mind. Like the music video is pretty standard too, but it does look like they spent a ton of time and effort on it, so definitely a thumbs up from me. We got a queen in the double. Out in the lane make a trouble. Treating them good as a model. Drinking it straight from the bottom. All these people in my counter. Burning liquor, have a couple. Take a shot, I'll do a couple. All she wanna do is cuddle. We got a queen in the double. Out in the lane make a trouble. Treating them good as a model, drinking it straight from the bottle. All these people in my gunner, burning liquor, I have a couple. Take a shot, I'll do a couple. All she wanna do is cut. Don't know why you're changing. Got an A6 song, cause I rate them. Pull it to the manor with the keys in my hand and a bottle that we keep in the basement. Pop parties always get loud. Big bass on the sound. New girl, when I like her, I'll invite her to come round. Yo. 
Yeah, let me talk up Better pull up to the manor with a full cup When I get to the home, got a heads up Then I'm back to the manor with a shortcut, yeah Yeah, let me face it Touchdown with a bang, with a basic Can't chat to me about wasting Number two, Dwarf Mamba. I always find it cool when someone manages to take their problems and turn it into something to laugh at. And Dwarf Mamba has always been one of the best when it comes to that. I mean, he literally wrote a rap song called Dwarf Problems, listing everything that sucks about being short, but made it funny and relatable enough to be a good listen no matter who you are. Not just that, but the chorus is actually kind of catchy and even the rapping is pretty slick. Plus the dude has diamond encrusted teeth for half the video and you really can't get more fly than that. Touch the floor when I sit. Hey, kids clothes the only ones that fit. Hey, calling me an elf, but you know I'm not a myth. Get your little sister, I don't want a Christmas list. No, nope. hop up in the whip with the extensions on the pedal. Looking to my left, seeing drivers unsettled. Bump the new mamba, haunted on the level. Competing in the dwarf games, winning every medal. Go, Go to Six Flags, wasting my time. Four foot two, so they won't let me ride. Dang it. Waiting on the bench. Waiting for my friends. Think I'm gonna hit the Ferris wheel for some spins. What? What do you mean I can't ride the Number one, KSI. So this track had one of the biggest buildups in YouTube history, and by the looks of it, KSI's fans still can't decide if it was worth it. With that said, Creature is a massive move away from the kind of rap he normally does, and the whole production of the video is insane. Like KSI's flow is always on point, so the rapping is more intense and difficult than any other song in the list. And there's no denying he put a ton of effort into coming up with the ideas. Plus, it's basically telling anyone who's ever dissed him that they were wrong, but with him beefing with Joe Weller and Net Nobody, I'm sure he hasn't seen the last of a KSI diss track. I ain't trying to tell anybody how to live. My only advice is to love and forgive. Everybody born in this world has a gift. The lightning strikes in your life, but you'll live. Every time we grow in, they'll try slowing all of the progress that we make. Fix up the shot, little come all the way, Michael Bay, how we blowing, glowing, stars in the bay, how we blowing in our space. Let like Tony, let them know we hit back like one punch, bring the fist to the game. And there's our video on the top 10 most popular YouTuber songs of 2017. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever I upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to use your trimming handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.